एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In the last part, we have studied the AC circuit, which contains the resistance, capacitance, and inductance only. Now, in the next part, we will uh, some basic some uh, basic terms, which like which are like power factor and the quality factor, which are studied in order to understand the combi when the AC circuit contains the combination of resistance, capacitance, and inductance. i am narendra kaur now if you want to study uh, these all these topics in details so you can refer this book from s chand publishing link is also given in the description box so the first term is the power factor now in order to explain this term what is the power factor over here we know that our power that is a product of current into voltage now if the power is drawn like this if this is a iv power i into v and it makes an angle theta with the x axis now we want to calculate it power factor now the uh, iv if this is along this direction now its projection along the x axis that will be equals to iv cos theta and its vertical projection that will be so this will be equals to iv sin theta so that is a iv sin theta so next we know that from euler's rule any vector that can be represented the combination of real part and imaginary part so that can be written as iv cos theta plus imaginary part iv so imaginary part will be here yeah, that is eta iv into sin theta and its resultant that will be calculated like this if we want to calculate resultant of this now if this is p so now if if this is along x axis and that is y then we know that the resultant if this is a x component that is a y component the resultant will be given by along this direction and the resultant for this that will be given by now we want to calculate resultant for this so resultant for this that will be equals to that is equals to px square plus py square so that will be resultant over here so our iv that is equals to Px square plus Py square. If this is equal to resultant is equal to Z, then the power factor that is equal to R upon Z. That is equal to R by Z over here, and which is equal to cos theta. Clearly, when from this relation, when we are calculating the cos theta. x component that is a iv cos theta base upon hypotenuse iv that is equals to here r by z what is r z over here z is a resultant so that can be written as r by resultant that is equals to x component which is a px component divided by y component so by using this relation the power factor that can be calculated so next is a quality factor next is quality factor now next term now what is the quality factor over here quality factor that is given by q into f that is equals to xl or xc that is a resistance for the inductor or the capacitance divided by r 
so the ratio of rectans for the inductor or the capacitance divided by resistance that is called the quality factor now we know that xl that is given by omega into l that is a rectans for the inductor and xc that is equals to 1 by omega c this is a r on dividing these two we will get quality factor that is equals to omega l by r what is omega here omega can be written as 2 pi f into l by r so this is a relation which is used in order to calculate the quality factor so this all thing is about the calculation of quality factor and the power factor in this topic we have studied when the ac circuit contain only the resistance inductance and the capacitance then further we have studied the definition and the derivations includes power factor and the quality factor now if you want to study uh, these all these topics in details so you can refer this book from s chand publishing link is also given in the description box now if you like the video please like share and subscribe the s chand academy and also press the bell icon for the future notifications thank you all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder